discover the silence so you can find your voice and you can go beyond your inability to express yourself. This was such a big thing for me to, to find my voice, to, to speak the truth, to just be authentic, breathe and be myself and, and make the choices uh, that work best for me. It was a, it was a really difficult thing for me actually to, to express myself, to ask for what I wanted, to to even know what I wanted actually, you know, I think I've been people pleasing for, for so much of my life that I didn't even know what I wanted, I didn't even know what my voice was, so I'd, I'd completely lost it in a way and yes I would speak, I would communicate, um, but it was all, all based on an idea of myself and uh, a desire to, to be safe and in order to be safe I needed to keep everyone around me happy. So I was always people pleasing. I was always doing things for others. I never really thought about myself. There was resentment in there. You know, I, I, I kind of wanted to be, but I was just so trapped in that experience. And for me, learning a meditation practice and, and discovering silence, uh, for me, the, the, the practice I use is called Ascension, um, as taught by the Bright Path of Shires. And it's been such a liberating experience to, to find my voice, to explore the essence of who I am as pure awareness and, and to rest in that experience, just gently attentive and open and allowing has, has meant that my voice has come through, you know, my natural desires that are in alignment with a, a greatest force for good uh, just flow through. I'm able to to speak uh, what's true for me in each and every moment and you know sometimes that's caught up in the past and on a on a program of people pleasing or you know trying to force my way through life and make things happen, um, controlling everything. That happens sometimes, but more and more for me, there's just this natural, very quiet voice that comes through and, and comes through freely. Like there's no effort, there's no contriving, there's no looking for what I need to say. The, the words just flow through from a very natural, still space within. And that's what happens when you find silence. Um, Silence is really just that essence of who you are, that pure awareness and just recognising that part of yourself as opposed to the thinking mind, which we're so attentive to and so locked into and identified with. It's such a liberating thing to recognise that you're more than that. You're the awareness of that. And to come into a direct recognition and experience of that is, is yeah, freedom right there which is my highest desire, by the way, you know, to to be free. And, and the strangest thing in having this desire of freedom, this highest desire of freedom, um, has enabled me to recognise I'm already free. You know, the prison cell was my mind. Uh, no other person as well, by the way, you know, nobody controls us. We, we, we have a greater sense of agency and, and choice within ourselves than we recognise. Um, circumstances are a certain way sometimes and we kind of have to work with them um, rather than battling with other people but the more you come to know yourself as, as silence as, as stillness as pure awareness then the easier it becomes to find your voice and one that is in alignment with unconditional love and the greatest force for good <laughs>